Hello viewers, welcome to the series You the Oracle Expert, where you practice Oracle Database Administration and Unix using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines. And in this part of the series, we are going to learn about virtual machine snapshots, like what is a snapshot, how to create and restore a snapshot, how to delete a snapshot, etc. So what is a virtual box virtual machine snapshot? A snapshot is a state of the virtual machine in a particular point of time which is recorded by the virtual box application. A snapshot enables you to recover a virtual machine from an unwanted change. For example, suppose you are going to upgrade the virtual machine operating system and you created a snapshot just before upgrading the system and during the upgrade suppose you are upgrade process failed, you just want to go back to the state of the virtual machine before the upgrade process started, then all you need to do is to restore the snapshot. This is a very convenient feature by which you can save a lot of your time in troubleshooting issues. And also this can be used as a backup. Say you are doing a lot of changes in your virtual machine and you don't know which one is going to work for you or which one will fail. In that case, before doing any change in the virtual machine, you can create a snapshot and do your changes. In a later point in time, if you want to go back to the state of the machine that was there before your changes, you can simply restore the snapshot that you created before you started making the changes. To create a snapshot, you have to go to the VirtualBox application. The virtual machine for which you are going to create a snapshot can be on and running. You don't have to shut it down to create a snapshot. Then once that virtual machine is selected, you can click on this take button, it will take a name by default as snapshot1 if this is the first snapshot that is being created, click OK. It will take a couple of seconds to create the first snapshot and your snapshot1 is created. Now you can make changes to your virtual machine and if you want, you can go back to the snapshot1 by simply selecting the snapshot one and restore. But to restore the virtual machine has to be shut down. You cannot restore the virtual machine when it is running. Again, you can create multiple snapshots or snapshot over snapshots by simply clicking on that take button. Say we want to create another snapshot of the virtual machine and after the first snapshot was taken, Simply select the virtual machine and click on take again and this will be the snapshot 2. Click OK and it will take a few seconds to create the second snapshot. And there is no limit in how many snapshots you can create and you can restore any of the snapshots that you created. When you created snapshots along with the virtual machine running, it will give you a couple of options when you shut it down or power off. If you simply power off the virtual machine by closing the window, it will always ask you to restore the virtual machine to the most recent snapshot that was created. For example, it is giving you the option to restore the current snapshot, that is snapshot 2. If you click OK, then any changes that you made to the virtual machine after the snapshot 2 was taken will be discarded and the machine will be taken back to the state when the snapshot 2 was taken. Now we are not powering it off, we'll simply cancel it and we'll shut down the virtual machine. Again, there are two ways you can shut down the virtual machine by using the command shutdown minus H0 or you can go and click on this power button here. Again there, it will ask you whether you want to cancel, restart or power off. We can simply power off from here. Now your virtual machine is in shutdown state. When the virtual machine is in shutdown state, you will get the options to restore your virtual machine to any of the snapshots that was created. I just restarted the virtual machine and logged in as root user. Now to demonstrate this snapshot behavior, let's do some changes and then we will roll back the changes by restoring the snapshots. So first, we have two snapshots already created, snapshot 1, snapshot 2. 
we will go to the virtual machine in the terminal window under root users home directory we will create a file touch file 2 and now we are going to create one snapshot named snapshot 3 and after snapshot 3 is created we are going to create another file file 3 so file 3 corresponds to the snapshot snapshot 3 and file 2 to the snapshot snapshot 2 now we will restore the virtual machine to snapshot 3 and once we restore it the file 3 should not be present anymore because it was created after the snapshot 3 was taken so let's do that we will power off the virtual machine it will ask for restoring the current snapshot to snapshot 3 select yes okay and then we'll start it it will take a couple of seconds and if you see the state of the virtual machine is back to the point in time when we did not even create the file 3 so we have only file 2 available now we will roll back or restore the snapshot 2 that was created before the file 2 was created so once we restore the virtual machine to snapshot 2 this file 2 should also be gone so we'll do it in a different way this time shutdown minus h0 and we will select the snapshot 2 this time and click restore and we will not create any snapshots of the current machine state so we'll uncheck this and restore it we'll start the virtual machine the machine is started and restored to the snapshot 2 now we will go to the home directory of the root user and see if the file 2 is available and the file 2 is gone so this is how a snapshot can help us restoring the virtual machine to a desired state of the machine next we will remove or delete a virtual machine snapshot you may want to delete a snapshot when you are sure that you will no longer need the machine state that was recorded by the snapshot you want to delete deleting a snapshot also gives you back the space that was utilized by the snapshot to delete the snapshot you don't have to shut down the virtual machine you can simply select on the snapshot that you want to delete and click on deleting them say i want to delete the snapshot 3 selected it and click delete it will ask for a confirmation click delete snapshot 2 delete and snapshot 1 also delete again please be aware that once you delete a snapshot you will no longer be able to go back to the machine state that was recorded by the snapshot viewers so far in this series on oracle virtual box virtual machines we have covered quite a few topics and we'll continue with the remaining topics in the subsequent videos so viewers please provide your feedback in the comment section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful that will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel